Hello and welcome to Bevis Mark Synagogue. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of March, 2020. I'm here with you uh, today to share with you uh, one of the uh, interesting features of the uh, synagogue. Uh, we're going to be uh, looking at what's known as the gaveta, uh, the box uh, in Portuguese, uh, the cupboard, where people keep uh, personal uh, religious items uh, that they don't uh, want to take with them each week, but they leave them here in the synagogue so that they don't uh, need to carry them on Shabbat uh, or back and forth uh, during the week. Uh, and you can see the seats are numbered 61, 63, at a time when uh, <clears throat> the synagogue would be full, that people would have uh, assigned numbers, uh, though today uh, people are welcome to sit uh, wherever, <clears throat> wherever they like. In fact, you can find all kinds of things in the different gavetas. Uh, in this particular one, I came across an old uh, prayer book. Uh, this prayer book uh, is uh, difficult to date if the title page is missing, um, but you can usually figure out when it's from, from the name of the monarch, um, which, is, uh, which is prayed for in the prayer for the royal family. Um, and so you can see that this one is from the Day of Atonement, uh, and the name of the monarch is uh, King George III and his Queen Charlotte, uh, which is the king of the, uh, during the times of the American Revolution. Uh, and so this prayer book certainly would have been used uh, into the 19th century. Um, in fact, uh, the, uh, in the Hebrew, uh, the names would have, that would have been recited out loud were actually written in Portuguese um, because that was the traditional language of the, uh, of the community. Uh, and so really incredible things that you can find just uh, sitting in the seats uh, here uh, at Bevis Mark Synagogue. Um, and so I'm looking at seat number 63 today uh, because one of our uh, Yechidim, uh, one of our uh, members of the Kahal, unfortunately <clears throat> has come down with the virus. Um, thank God he's, uh, he's doing well, um, but obviously hasn't been able to come to synagogue. Uh, and unfortunately his uh, tefillin, his phylacteries uh, were left uh, here at the synagogue and his talet, his prayer shawl. <clears throat> the phylacteries is the uh, uh, small item that uh, uh, Jewish men wear during prayer uh, during the weekday mornings that you may have seen me wearing in uh, episode uh, number two. Uh, and so I'm going to lift up his uh, seat and take out his items. And so here we have his uh, beautiful case with his with his uh, talet <clears throat> and here his is his bag with uh, the tefillin with the phylacteries as well and so I'm going to take these items and place them uh, into my knapsack and this way I'll be able to uh, uh, drop them uh, at his home uh, so that he can have what he needs to uh, carry on with his prayers uh, there until he gets better and until the synagogue is able to reopen. Hope everyone is doing well and I look forward to speaking to you soon.